Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359, welcome back to Let's Play Shadow the Hedgehog. I don't want to do this, but let us start a new game in story mode. God, I don't want to do this. the only thing I can remember, and that gruesome image. Maria! Maria! Who am I? And why can't I remember anything? And who is this Maria? All these questions and more could have been answered by simply asking the friends that you were with in the last game. How am I supposed to see this comet if there's clouds in the sky? I mean, come on. And suddenly aliens. Would you believe that no one died from this? Look how pathetic they are. I don't have time for these humans. As you can see, the day of reckoning will soon be here. Find the seven chaos emeralds and bring them. Who are you, and how do you know I'm Shadow? And what are you talking about? All of those are actually very good questions. And he just leaves without telling us. Just what was that all about? If he says he knows the truth about who I am, then like it or not, I have to believe him. The only way I'm going to get the secrets to my past is to get those Chaos Emeralds. Or, you know, you could ask any of the 11 other people you were with the last game! Did Shadow literally through this entire time not ask a single person, Hey, who am I? What's my past? I guess not. So anyway, welcome to Westopolis. The first stage in the game, and the game you're gonna be- The stage you're gonna be seeing a lot in this game, because guess what? You have to play this stage ten times! To get every single ending and the final story. Or, you know, better idea, why don't you go find out what this guy is talking about instead of just believing evil demonic Goku? I'm pretty sure Rouge could tell you who you are. She accessed all your files on the Ark in Sonic Adventure 2. I saw the cutscene. Yeah, these, these black creatures really mean business. I mean, they're nuking everything and through all this, can you believe not a single person dies? Gotta keep that E10 plus rating. But there we go. We have our first Chaos Emerald. That well, that was rather easy. That's rather creepy. I'm not gonna lie. That is actually rather creepy, uh, Doom's Eye. Or as I will forever call you, Demonic Goku. Because yes, that is actually Goku's voice actor, uh, Sean Shamel. So. Here we have our system in this game, the mission system. Inside Westopolis, we have three missions. We have find the Chaos Emerald, drive off the black creatures, and annihilate the gun forces. Each one of these will give us a different story route. Obviously, annihilating the gun soldiers will be evil, so that will put us towards the dark path. Killing the aliens will put us to the good path, and just getting the Chaos Emerald and getting the fuck out of Dodge will put us on the neutral path. I'm gonna be doing neutral for this one, and just so that you guys, you know, do not lose your sanity and have to see Westopolis ten times, I have combined this episode to contain both the hero and dark mission along with the neutral one. But, now let's get into controls for this game, shall we? Use the analog stick to move around, use the C stick to move the camera, do not move the camera because this game has an abhorrent camera, you moving it will just make it worse. Use the A button to jump, uh, hit it again to do the homing attack. B button is to fire guns. Keys are just around here, so yay, grab the keys. I will explain the keys later. Use the X button to switch weapons whenever you go over a reticle. For example, when I kill this alien right here, he will actually have an alien gun. I could switch it if I just hit the X button. If you hit the X button in front of a trail of rings, you could also end up doing a light speed dash. Pretty much the X button in this game is context sensitive. 
hold it on its own when not around like a trail of rings or something, you will actually do the spin dash, which makes it return in this game because, you know, nobody wanted to do the Rocket Excel, and if they did, they did it by accident. So instead, they brought it back along with the fact that it's context sensitive. And that's pretty much your controls in a nutshell. Pretty much in case you ever need a gun or something, if you don't have a weapon and you run over one, you will automatically pick it up. If you pick up a weapon and there's another one on the floor of the same type, you will pick that up simply as ammo and lather, rinse, repeat. Now you might notice that there are two bars that are on our sides right here, a red bar and a blue bar. Those are related to our hero and dark meters. Our hero meter is the blue one. You can get that by doing good deeds such as killing aliens and damaging certain evil enemies that are usually going to be either Dr. Eggman's robots or the aliens, which are effectively known as the Black Arms. Getting it filled will give you infinite ammo, and this works for either bar, and will result in you basically having the ability of Chaos Control, which inside of regular stages like this will warp you pretty much forward throughout the level. So let's finish up the neutral mission real quick and grab this Chaos Emerald that's just leisurely sitting here. How convenient, two of them are in one city. Once I find all of the emeralds, then I'll find the truth. All right, so that takes care of the normal mission right here. Which pretty much for timing and hmm, rank perfect. requirements just relies on time and rings that you have to give you your stuff. But now going on to continuing on based on the meter talk, we're going to talk about the red meter. That one is your other pretty much dark gauge. Fill that up by being a general dick, uh, killing humans, sometimes Dr. Eggman's robots, because Eggman's robots sometimes fluctuate between being good. I guess the lesser of two evils in a sense. And when you fill it up, you have access to the ability Chaos Blast, which is very ineffectual. Do not use it when you're in a stage. Just use it for the infinite ammo. But inside this one right now, we're going to do the hero mission. So we got to kill 45 aliens with Sonic. All right, we got to kill aliens with Sonic. Now, one thing that I didn't show off and talk about earlier is the fact that, you know, I was switching between missions without having to hit this pause button. How can you do that? You use the D-pad. Hit left, right, or down, and that will end up changing your mission. Left will be for dark, right will be for hero, and then down will be for neutral or just get rid of the annoying characters that are following you. So, one thing to talk about now when it comes to doing, say, a hero mission or a dark mission, their grading requirements are a little bit more specific. Inside of a hero mission, for example, you will be penalized points if you end up killing the humans. What you need to do is usually just basically kill aliens only or whatever the evil creature is of that time. That is pretty much all you can do. If you kill humans, you will be penalized at the end based on your score through a deduction. And in the end, I really don't care about grades inside this game. Now, when it comes to ranking in this game, the highest it goes to is A. S rank wouldn't be added in until Sonic 06 comes out, which would have been a year from now. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So now we're just going around Westopolis, killing all 45 of the aliens that are inside the level. There aren't 46. There aren't 47. There are 45. And if you miss one, Oh boy, the search begins! But how do you get back into, you know, the past parts of the stage? Well, you might have noticed that there are those little panels that I'm running over. Those are checkpoints in this game, which pretty much, if you hit the X button on top of them, you will be able to backtrack to any previous checkpoint that you unlocked. So, right now, I have Chaos Control activated, and if I were to activate it, I'd be rushing forward towards the goal ring. I don't need to do that right now, because I need to basically kill aliens, so instead, Infinite ammo, which is very helpful. Honestly, there are a lot of people who play this game for the first time. They don't know that you get infinite ammo based on your chaos meter because nowhere inside the game does it tell you that. No, that's just something you find out on your own. Just great. So, keep going forward. And that was something that was bad. I apologize for that. I hope that didn't get through on there because there was a little bit of a thing. Uh, let's stop talking about it right now. So, as you can see, I'm just slowly and calmly just looking around making sure I don't miss anyone. Why is that? Well, if you couldn't tell by now, we don't have a mini-map in this game. We don't have a radar. And that is bad. 
How bad? Oh, I'm waiting to bitch about that once we get to the stages that even fans of Shadow the Hedgehog, because apparently this game actually has a giant fan base, hate. And for those of you who play Shadow the Hedgehog and like Shadow the Hedgehog, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, yeah, I'm going to wait for that. But for right now, just keep going forward and throw buses on people. Because I'm, I'm, I'm Shadow. I'm a general dick who apparently has the ability to throw buses at people. Why couldn't I do that in the last game? That would have been a lot easier for me if I could have just done that. I don't know. If Eggcock just throw a random bus on it. Boom, dead. Now, who am I kidding? The bosses in that game died easily if I just used the shoot. All right, so we have 33 of the 45 right now. And as you can see, I got a life this time. You might notice that usually I end up getting rings whenever I pass over them, those little things. Why is it that I didn't get it that time? Well, getting 100 rings in this game doesn't instantly give you a life. If you go over a checkpoint, when you have 100 rings, you will get a life. That's pretty much to make it balancing is how you don't lose all your rings when you end up getting hit in this game, which isn't the first game to do this, in all honesty. There was actually a Game Gear game that did it first. But why is it that they did that? Honestly, it was specifically for one mission that is going to be later on inside this game, and I will talk about it then more. But for right now, we're nearing the end of where the neutral path of the stage ended. So where are the remaining aliens? Well, you might have noticed that there was a path that goes beyond the, you know, basic neutral path, which some of the missions in this game are actually rather well designed to be tailored around these mission-based systems. Unfortunately, not enough of them are. And oh boy, I will talk about those later. So, for right now, as you can see, we have 42, so we're missing three. Those last three are actually going to be near the end of the stage, passed over this way. So, break this open and lift it up with the X button. X button is context sensitive. It is sensitive to context. And back to the skydiving. And, ooh, look! Key! Oh, I missed the key. Very well. I will just shoot downward at these balloons. Now, when it comes to the gun place gameplay, I will say it's not that bad. I'll get more into it because we're just about to finish the mission because the last three aliens are right here. There we go. And that completes the hero mission. But I did kill a few humans. Disgusting. Oh, but my mistake. I didn't kill them. I incapacitated them. People don't die in this game. Oh, no. You'll see you later. So as you can see, my dark score is what ends up getting deducted from it. And normal score... I don't know if normal score gets deducted or not. I don't think it does. But now on to the third time, and last time, you're going to be seeing Westopolis. And this is for the Dark Mission, which we're going to have to kill 35 gun troops. Yay! So, now to get on to the guns right now, so then I can just talk about this before going more into how the story is just utter bullshit in every single way. Uh, the guns work. I won't lie. There's a lot of the guns that really do work, and if the gunplay's game play did not work at all, I this game would be a lot worse for it. That being said, I don't really think it's necessary that we need the gun-based gameplay, but it does work. The guns auto-lock on their own. Personally, I would prefer if I had my own lock-on button in certain areas, but for the auto-lock-on, that generally only applies to guns that shoot bullets. You're going to be seeing later in the game, we're going to be having things like missile launchers, rocket launchers, bazookas, general all-around, you know, military-grade, Eggman-grade type weapons. And there is a homing rocket launcher in this game, but that's about it. Whenever you have a grenade-based weapon in this game, you have to manually aim it with a little circle reticle that's really annoying. That's why generally for a good majority of this playthrough, I'm going to be just using guns that are basically, you know, bullet-based. I tend to prefer some of the human guns more, but there's really no difference between the human and alien guns. They're just cosmetic. Humans have their own version of a pistol, which is what Shadow is holding right now. And then, you know, the aliens have their own version of a pistol. They have their own version of a machine gun. They have their own version of rocket launchers. They have their own versions of pretty much everything but a sniper rifle. Surprisingly, no sniper rifle. There is a rifle in this game that's absolutely broken, but that is something for another day. So for right now, we need to kill 35 of the humans. On the bright side, they at least point out where humans are because of that tiny little red 
triangle that is on top of them. You know what I would rather prefer? It's called a map. An amazing feature that games have been doing since the NES. Oh, Roxas, you need to wait for the two stages that can go fuck themselves. But now we have our red chaos meter filled. And dang it, I fell down here. Don't worry if you fall down here. You're not entirely boned. There is a bottomless pit right next to that area. But if you end up hitting the switch right there, you can simply go on out. Now, I don't think I'm going to be showing off Chaos Blast, which is the basic... Oh, no, I do. And that is Chaos Blast. It works well on regular mooks as long as they don't have too much of a health bar because as you can probably no doubt tell the health bars made their return inside of this game and with the gun based gameplay it makes the health bars not really as much of an issue especially because our homing attack is also still pretty potent so it's not as bad to say the least so i guess yay guns even though they're really not necessary because you know that's kind of overkill it really isn't when a homing attack can do so much damage. I mean, just look at Sonic's homing attack. But right now we have 24 humans, so we... Okay, 25, 26. So we still need a few more. Uh, luckily, I am in no problem of running out of ammunition. But one thing to talk about in case, you know, you're stockpiling all of this ammo because you love this gun that you have. You don't carry guns over into other stages, I'm afraid. So all that ammo you got, completely worthless. But, am I going to show it off? No, I'm not. Okay. That vehicle right there is something I've been passing. You could actually drive vehicles in this game. Something that is entirely unnecessary and entirely useless because Shadow can run faster than every single vehicle inside this goddamn game. But I'll get more into vehicles once we actually have to use those. We're going to be using them a lot in the neutral path, I can tell you that much. So, another pistol. All right, we have 29. 29 people dead. I'm, I'm sorry, not dead, incapacitated. Those guys are actually on the floor. They're still alive. They're still clearly alive. Don't worry. The gun robots are dead, though. So if you think robots are alive, they're dead. All right, so we have 31 enemies. I lost my shield. Uh, luckily, it didn't really matter. And hey, uh, Doom's Eye, I'm kind of, you know, helping you. Can you possibly, I don't know, tell your soldiers to stop attacking me? I mean, it'd make the missions a lot easier. What's that? You're not going to do that at all? What's that? Gun soldiers are going to do the same thing as well as Eggman's forces? Well, what's the bloody point then? Either way, go down here and kill the last two gun soldiers, and we will be done with Westopolis for good, ladies and gentlemen. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. This is Maroxas 1359 at the end of this video, I'm giving you guys a choice to choose which path you Anybody want to go to. So, see you guys for whatever path you choose.